So welcome to the lab here. Here's all my um, synth goodies and so forth is what I use. Um, on top here is uh, one of my old time favorite. And there's a lot of memories with this, the DX7. This is actually the second one that I had. The first one I used and took it out, uh, played out with it so much that I had dropped it so many times. And, you know, back then you had no really appreciation like I do now for things. Um, so this one I had gotten a while back, um, great condition. I mean, it's just really good, really good keyboard. Got one of my favorite sounds in there and, and so forth and so on. Um, the new Roland Phantom. Um, this is, the jury's still out on it, but so far, um, still learning on it. Um, but it's going to be a keeper, even though I've come to the conclusion that it's probably not complete as it should have been. Um, so we hope that Rowan really follows through. But uh, it, it's it's clean. I've I've taken and sequenced with this and compared it to some of the other workstations I'm going to show you. And even though the sounds are similar, or that I have a tendency to pick similar sounds, this just still has a fat um, sound to it. Still something I like about it. Um, pair of mon near field monitors here. Um, drum pads. I do a lot of my drum programming through pads. Um, so there's just basically my rack. Quick look. This uh, in particular, these Ashleys. I learned about these through Junkie XL, his blog. For those of you who watch uh, YouTube synth stuff. You'll know who he is. Um, he said he had like 15 to 17, maybe even more. Uh, and that's how he kind of gets all his gear simultaneously into his mixer. And I kind of do the same thing. I've got three of them. And you can pick them up used from Guitar Center online um, or, or buy them new still. They're kind of expensive new for what they are. But the trims are really solid. Um, the gain is really good. So uh, that's what I like about them the most. Um, quick look at the rack. Um, you know, the EX5 Tritons and so forth. Um, the cl classic motif. Actually, it's the only motif that I actually have right now. It's, uh, it's my favorite one, too. Um, XV5080, which I've had for a long time. 5050, which was initially my backup. Um, DM5, that's a least these. I actually use that not for uh, the drums, but for the hi-hat control pedal. That's when I do the finger drumming. I control the hi-hat through uh, Superior 3.0. Um, the good old R8, and below that is the uh, Waystation SR. And then another Ashley mixer. Again, that's another 16-channel single space. Nord Stage 3. Um, love it. Love everything about it. Pianos and electric pianos. Um, so this is interesting. The, um, XP30. I'm using it now to control, um, a rack that I have off the side. And that's not midied, uh, you know, into the Mac or anything. It's just all uh, old school MIDI. And it's kind of nice because I can, um play um my external modules and just basically controlling all of them um, another rack out that i have off the side so it's my um um jd 990 so real nice um the um what is this uh FA06, this is something that I actually had and sold uh, and then bought back because it was so light uh, and very versatile. Still versatile in a lot of stuff that I have. Um, the uh, Phantom G, um, that was the workstation I was using before. Uh, the other stuff, the new Phantom, still love it. Uh, there's a certain... Again, design and quality. We are talking more like collecting at this point. Um, just certain things about it, the build quality that they just don't really do anymore. Um, so those of you who know about the Phantom G, you know what I'm talking about. 
Um, another Ashley Mixer. So this is, again, controlling, not controlling, but being fed all the other scents, and that's running into the main system. Um, here's your Trinity, um, another 5050, and the JD990, which I just played earlier. The Insonic VFX SD is another interesting piece. Um, has kind of a D50-ish. Really, really interesting um, sounds. Yeah, real nice. Here's the, um, the original Phantom. I guess I collect all the Phantoms now, evidently. But there's something about... Even though it's supposed to have the 5080 engine, it has a different uh, thing to it than the 5080. Um, and if you, uh, I guess having both of them, you you know, if you use them a while, you kind of get the um, feel of how different they really are. Here's the Phantom X. Um, again, another keyboard that... Uh, um, that I uh, like a lot. It has an interesting sound set. Um, Korg T3. This was one of the first workstations I ever got um, and did a lot of songs on it. This is back when it came out and it was it was great. It was almost like an M1. It was like an M1 with an extra bank and uh, enhanced features and so forth. Um, below that is Vsynth GT. Uh, piece I always wanted. Uh, they're actually hard to get right now. It's almost like a collector's piece. Um, again, can't wait to get into that. Um, D50, Roland D50. Again, another cl classic. I've got the big three, like the Mount Rushmore of uh, 80s digital. DX7, D50, and T3. And below that, uh, it's hard to see here, but that's the uh, Core Karma. Again, another keyboard I always wanted when it came out. Um, so that concludes the tour. Uh, hope you enjoyed.